Hello traders, welcome to LS Blue. This is the fan copy. And today we will discuss about the crude oil. Before we start this video, so if you wanna read the various uh, type of international event and uh, international like uh, news, you can visit to our new blog page. So LS Blue Market Talk. So you can visit here. LS Blue market uh, talk uh, this is our new blog so just you visit to this blog so here we are posting everyday morning talk and weekly once weekly talk and uh, monthly in a monthly talk okay so next you can uh, visit to our market trend here market uh, budget so Indian government like uh, various type of budget we are posting here and here is the technology that means uh, allies blue what type of uh, technology are using or new technology are here so we are putting everything like uh, entries small cases uh, uh, robo uh, algo trading system all thing uh, we are putting here so you just visit here so you will uh, you can read the everything here and another is the market analysis here is a two type of here one is fundamental analysis and the fundamental analysis is the fundamental event in international like uh, this one yesterday we post here uh, this is fundamental event so you can uh, visit there and you can read properly and another is a technical so technical is the micro research like uh, gold silver crude oil uh, zinc aluminium lead whatever we are posting here so we are analyzing and we are posting here right you can visit and you can read properly right so now you can see this is crude oil i told uh, i draw some uh, fibonacci point yesterday i think uh, i think you remember this one i told that that uh, this is a support uh, that uh, this is the uh, sorry uh, i have to reverse this Fibonacci line from this side so from that side for find out the retracement that is why we have to put zero in the higher point have you seen this one this is the higher point and I'm putting here zero and this is the lower point previous low and this is the hundred right so when we put like that this is a wave this is called impulsive wave I think you know this one this is called impulsive wave by connecting impulsive wave A and B, right? So next C will be a corrective wave. This is impulsive wave and this will be corrective wave. Always remember if impulsive wave is larger than corrective wave, right? This is impulsive wave this uh, uh this is the large and this is corrective wave right uh, this is c always small smaller than impulsive wave so now you can see this is the impulsive wave and this is a corrective wave so to find out the corrective wave the last point we are using some moving averages and fibonacci retracement level so I always use three Fibonacci level. One is 38.2, next 50, third 61 percent. Right? I'm telling you round figure. There is a point, so you can check it properly. So if impulsive wave, they are doing retrace, and first I just focus on three 38 percent uh, retracement of Fibonacci if any confirmation if i get any confirmation here so i will start buying from that area right if in case there are there are no information uh, no confirmation for re uh, reverse the market okay so i wait for 50 percent retracement right and if there are no confirmation for the buy i wait for 61 percent right this is the last one for me sometimes it's uh, like 78 percent or uh, hundred percent and again reversing but they are changing the trend okay again uh, they are placing this uh, that is the another matter I will uh, discuss about that one later okay so now you can see the trend is up right just let me look in very odd so you can see that 
trend is up now price is doing retracement like that so i need the retracement point this retracement point so here you can see first the retracement point i told you to enter in the here here so now here you can see this is a 20 moving average placing a supporting line here so that is why oh sorry this is a resistant line now becoming a resistant line that is why i want to draw a line horizontal line exactly connecting this 20 moving errors have you seen this is a resistant line now let's see in a small time frame or one hour time frame so if you see one hour time frame they're bouncing from 200 moving errors have you seen this one first time you can see the price was bouncing from 200 moving average now again they are bouncing from 200 moving average right so it is a high probability to go next higher point uh, it's a high probability to create a new higher point right so now you can see here another resistance line is confirming there may give a retracement also that is why I want to draw a diagonal line have you seen this is a diagonal line I connected here in a one hour now that means this is a strong resistance right here right if people are thinking this is the resistance market will crash down not exactly sometimes it happen because they're creating lower low right lower high it may come up to this area also because this is the uh, Fibonacci retracement level right uh, 61 percent right so now where uh, now people are very confused then where i will enter in this market right so in that case you have to observe the market 15 minute now you can see this is a 15 minute chart who people enter uh yesterday at book their profit so you just come out from the market you can see this is a strong what resistance by placing 200 moving average right so in between in this area we never take a buy risk long run it will go up but there is a still opportunity to reverse market towards 61 percent retracement of Fibonacci in a long term right now the price is not able to break these 200 moving average right if price break this area this will be 200 uh, broke uh, like uh, 200 uh, exponential moving average and 150 are here becoming a strong resistance if they break this area and again they break this trend line have you seen this one sometimes what happened they break this 200 moving average they will go little more up and again market will fall right so that is why you just wait to cross the level of 4050 the level of 4050 if they break this 4050 start buying the next target will be 4100 right oh sorry 4130 so this will be your anti point and keep your SL just below this moving average so your trading ratio will be 1 is to 1 right so I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching